on because it hasn't really been an event. Hi everyone. So today is my week eight update. Uh, I really don't have much to update you guys on because it hasn't really been an eventful week. Um, when you last watched my last video, I was seven weeks and that was by far the worst. Um, with Weston, same exact thing, really bad. And same with Weston, when I turned seven weeks, I started to feel a lot better. Um, nausea went away, um, food aversions almost went away, everything pretty much subsided. And I'm not kidding when I tell you, it's exactly the same. Of course, I was more sick with this pregnancy from week five to week seven. Um, but, and I had a lot more things like the saliva and the burping and going to the bathroom and all that stuff. That was all different from Weston. But I'm not kidding when I tell you, I really don't have any symptoms. Uh, I do get short of breath. That's something that I'm noticing now that is really like when I talk and stuff, I'm like, <sighs> like I'm really out of breath. Um, <clears throat> so that is definitely like a big one that I guess this week, I get lightheaded very easily from just picking up like toys. Um, even when I'm down there, even like, usually you get lightheaded if you're down for a long time and then you get up and you're just like, Woo. I get this even when I'm like down there picking things up. So you guys know I'm a dizzy person. Uh, I have vertigo. So it does obviously affect that. Um, or it's easily more affected. So <laughs> my symptoms have really been this week lightheaded, um, you know, shortness of breath, uh, just doing minor things. Um, I am still a little bit tired. Um, by the time like seven o'clock hits, I'm really just like, what Evan, take Weston, just don't bother me right now. I just want to lay down. Um, I haven't been doing a whole lot of things. I haven't started going to the gym again. I have not went to the gym since the day I found out. And the day I found out was the last day I went to the gym. So, I haven't been in a long time, which is so bad. Um, but I just haven't felt up for doing that yet. Uh, I don't know if it's, I hope that I get the energy to do it again, but the only time that I can do it is when Evan's, when Evan is home or on the weekend. And that means I would have to go to the gym at like seven o'clock at night. And I don't want to do that. Like I'm already tired from the day, right? So, <sighs> I don't know. I've been doing walks. Um, of course, this is rainy season for us, so it's not like I can really go out and do much. But when it is nice out, I go for a walk with Weston. When I get back, I am like, I need to lay down. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. <laughs> I really don't have a huge update. Um, I do still have brown um, discharge spotting, whatever you want to call it. Uh, most of the time, it's only... Um, when I like really wipe and try to like see if I have any of it. Uh, but there's only been one day when it was a little bit more, like it was kind of like mixed with like regular discharge. I know this is sick to talk about, but if you're watching pregnancy vlogs, you know all this stuff. Um, so that has, that it'll increase sometimes and then it'll decrease. Uh, my doctor, I emailed her yesterday and I said, I know what I'm reading since it's completely normal, but I just want to hear from you. You know, is it normal for me to be feeling like this or had to have these feelings accompanied with the fact that I don't, my symptoms have disappeared, which of course they did with Weston, but you know, with what had happened with the previous pregnancy, I'm just a little bit more on high alert and I probably have annoyed some of you guys that watch me on Facebook um, or follow me on Facebook because I keep posting things and I'm just like, these people probably hate me, <laughs> but it's just, I am a little bit nervous. I'm not worried. I don't think that, you know, I have a lifeless child in me or anything like that, but I'm just, I cannot wait for my ultrasound on Wednesday. Um, I will be eight weeks and five days and I'm really hoping that, um, you know, there's a little bean in there and he's growing or she's growing and it's got a beautiful heartbeat and everything is fine. Um, my boobs are somewhat sore, but like with Weston, I really didn't have sore boobs. I mean, I had a tiny bit. Uh, they are definitely more fuller than they were um, before I got pregnant. And that kind of happened around five weeks. They started to get like that. So that's pretty much it. I can't really wear my pre-pregnancy jeans. Um, 
it sucks. So I'm wearing my, my only maternity pants that I bought. Um, they're the only ones that I have right now that I've been wearing and I feel almost like I have a belly. Um, I'm, it kind of in the morning, I just look like I'm sort of bloated, but not a lot. And then by the end of the day, it's like, are you carrying twins? Like your belly looks huge. <laughs> so that, uh, that won't go away, I'm sure. Like I said, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, sleep is really good. Uh, you know, I do get up like three or four times a night, which is kind of a little bit unusual for me. Usually I get up only once. So of course that's pregnancy related. Um, but besides that, I am doing pretty good. So I just went today to go get blood work done and they take, you know, a lot of urine. They, the girl wanted me to fill up the tube, like the bottle that they give you, she's like, fill this up to the top if you can. And I'm like, are you serious? I don't think I can fill it. But of course, when you're pregnant, you gotta pee like a thousand times more. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys uh, have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you soon, bye.